Hey everyone, I am Brian Elliott with Focused Story Films, and I am a wedding and commercial cinematographer here in Kansas City. And I am super excited to talk about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K's 2.6K at 120 frames a second mode that came out with the latest uh, 6.6 .6 firmware update. Uh, yesterday, I had the opportunity to go out uh, for a little while in the snow and shoot in 2.6K. Uh, some of the snowfall, which was really beautiful. Unfortunately, it was incredibly cold, so I had to cut my test short, but I shot some snow last year in HD at 120 frames a second, so we'll be able to compare those shots with the shots that I took yesterday and see some of the quality difference and the size of the shot difference, how much more uh, resolution you're getting, and how much that is compared to 4K, all that great stuff. So let's go ahead uh, and jump in. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing, give me a like, and share this video with anybody that you think might find it helpful. All right, let's go ahead and watch some footage. I hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the size differences. Let's go ahead and start with a 4K clip that's filling the screen. Now let's go ahead and put the 2.6K on top of it. And now let's put HD on top of it. As we can see, 4K is a lot bigger than both of them, but the 2.6K is about 40% more uh, pixel and real estate than we're getting with HD. So that is a significant amount more data that you've got to work with. If you're editing on a 1080p timeline, you can either crop or get a much sharper, cleaner, crisper looking HD final output than you would just shooting regular HD. And if you're upscaling to 4K, you're going to get a lot better uh, upscale than you would with 1080 now if you're shooting in b-raw which i always do you are going to get a crop in on the sensor when shooting uh, 2.6k and the same with hd but obviously the 2.6k crop in is not nearly as extensive as the hd crop in so that is going to help you a lot um, if you need that super slow motion but don't want to crop into the sensor so much or have such a large amount of image degradation. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick little video uh, since I was able to do that quick little test. Uh, definitely leave any questions or things that I didn't cover in the comments. Uh, I will do my best to make another video covering more of those things if I missed something big. So uh, looking forward to that and don't forget to uh, subscribe, uh, give this video a like, and share it if you found it helpful. I will see you all in the next video.